Hello everyone, this is the Metal Lad here, and I apologize for lighting, it's not that, not that good today, so sorry about that. But today I'm going to be discussing another thing about metal today, which is ranged guitars, and where does it go too far? When we when metal first started, we were used to seeing only six string guitars. Metal bands only play with six string guitars, and that was the norm. We were used to it. We didn't we didn't really expect that a few years down the road, or even a generation down the road, seven strings and range guitars will become the my the majority, and the six strings will become a minority. I have a range guitar myself, as you probably see in my video. I'll show it to you in a few minutes. But the question is. Where do range guitars go too far? There is a point in which range guitars become too much. But where is that level? Where is this level where we say, okay, this is a bit too much. I think we should stop with the more ranging because this is already crazy enough. Now, let's start with the fact that seven strings already have a massive amount of range compared to a six string. A massive amount of range. The best thing about a 7 string is, you get to play a standard tuning 6 string plus a drop A 7th string. So you're basically playing drop A with the first string as well included. With the 6 string you only have string 6 to 2, you don't have the first string, you don't have the, the highest string. Now this might be a small bit of limitation, so this is where the 7 string comes in and the standard tuning for a 7 string is drop A, meaning you get to keep that first string and also you get to play the lowest 7 string. So you have the full range, you have the full drop A, you don't need, you're literally at a perfect level. A 9 string guitar is already nearly the size of my palm. It's literally about this big, right? The bridge is this big. It's literally this thick. And it's nearly impossible to put the full hand over it and play it full on. It's very difficult. So where does it go too much? Where does the level of range guitars go too much? To most bands these days that play, especially in modern metal, use ranged guitars but barely use all of the strings. It's like these days metal bands are all about the lowest sound of tuning they can possibly imagine, nearly down to the point of playing the brown note, nearly sound like a bass guitar rather than like an actual electric guitar and just to look edgy as hell. Now this uh, changes for everybody else, this the thought is different for a lot of people. For metalheads that are used to old school metal, will say six strings are too already enough metal. They can say you don't need more. We have enough. Most metal songs, old school metal songs, didn't use any lower than drop B or drop A. None of them had lower. None of them. All these bands were usually playing in standard tuning, drop D and drop C. None of them were playing lower than drop A. None of them. But now it's like drop A is the minimum. It's the minimum, and no one would go higher than drop A. Now. I can ask the same question again. What is the actual range limit? What is the actual overall range in which we shouldn't go any higher? And that, an answer to that question is entirely up to you. I can't answer that for you. No one can answer that for you, but only yourself. Because every single person's view on it is completely different. And we could have groups of people that agree to one, to two, to three, and to four. But you know, that's that's different, and at the end of the day, we still have more than one answer. And we can't exactly give a definite answer. I think that the ranged guitars should stop wherever it feels the best. That's the true I'm going to say. The reason, the, what I mean by this is that ranged guitars should end for each person where they feel like they have enough range, enough to do, and enough to play. That's where I think the range should end, right? That's where I think it should end. It shouldn't any less than that. When you're comfortable with, if you're comfortable with a six string, so be it. If you're comfortable with a seven string, so be it. If you're comfortable with an eight string, so be it. If you're comfortable with nine string, so be it. If you're comfortable with a 10 string, so be it. But for every single person, I'm gonna tell you the exact same thing. Stop where you feel the most comfortable. But the one thing I say is try them all out. Try out the 7 string, try out the 8 string, try out the 9 string, and try the 10 string for those who are interested in ranged guitars. Because it's literally up to you to decide. 
and the only way you can decide is if you try it out. And for those people who are close minded saying, well, all range guitars are useless, you don't need that much range, try it out. See what you think of it. You haven't played it. If you have, then fair fox. Okay. I have no problem with that, believe me with that. But if you haven't tried it out, if you haven't tried all range guitars, you need to try it out to see for yourself whether you want to stay with a six string or you want to improve a bit more and get more range for your guitar. It's literally up to yourself and it's literally up to you to decide where is your limit. But I guess the fact why range guitars get bad rep is because most modern metal bands use them and most modern metal is very different to what old school metal was. Uh, uh, that's literally up to you. Like I said, it's up to you to decide where you think it's enough. I can't give you a definite answer because unless you try it out, unless you've seen it for yourself, I can't really tell you exactly where the level is and you need to find that out for yourself. Simple as that. Now I'm going to show you my, my, how to say, my range guitar. You've seen it in the videos before, but I'm going to show you it quickly and show you how it looks properly. This is my range guitar. It's an Ibanez 7 string, <clears throat> as you can see. Now, I'd say the best part about this is the guitar is because there's so much range to it. I have a 6 string at the back, you can see right there, it's in the other bag. Uh, I'll point it out there somewhere, you can see it there. But, um, the reason why I think the 7 strings are really good is because there's just a lot more range, you get to keep the first string, and there's more to do. Like, look at this. Much more stuff to do. But of course, like I said, it's up to you to decide whether you want to stick with a six string or go higher. But yeah. This is the Metal Lad and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you like it, press like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.